Morning everyone, back again with another video. Today we're gonna talk about a program that already exists, but nobody's paying attention to. This program could bring you and bring your family over within one year. As usual, I'm gonna get straight to the point and I'm gonna do my best to make it as simple as possible. First of all, you need to have an innovative business idea that can create jobs for Canadians and compete on a global scale. For example, inflatable mattresses for the back of your car. Dig in, look up for more ideas and try to improve it. Add services, try to add value to people's lives. And to widen your horizons, I'm gonna leave in the description box down below a link for 25 innovative business ideas that would make our lives a whole lot easier. All what I want from you to get inspired and try to take your time to find such an idea and then try to submit it. Why not? They're gonna review it and they're gonna give you an answer. And the great thing, even if your business idea has been failed, you can stay in Canada and keep your Canadian permanent resident card. Second thing is the language level. You have to get 5 CLP. 5 CLP means Canadian language benchmark. And if you want to convert that to IELTS, that's going to be 5 in all areas except reading, which has to be 4 only. I believe it's pretty low score. And if you want to improve your English, you can just watch YouTube videos or just try to improve it or take an intensive course online. Moving to number three, you need to have a bank account and you have to deposit $25,000 Canadian dollars into your bank account if you were a one person or one application. If you want to add your spouse, you have to add four to $5,000. Whenever you want to add someone else to your application, you have to add four up to $5,000. You don't have to use anything from that money. All what you have to do to show the Canadian government that you have the ability to take care of yourself while you're staying in Canada, while waiting for your application, while building your business. So it's pretty logical. Moving to the last part, which is paying your fees. All that you have to pay is 2,075 Canadian dollars. And if you're wondering about the processing times, it takes between 12 months up to 16 months, approximately eight to nine. Some people got their application accepted within that window. So you have to be optimistic and you have to be patient. And the most exciting part, in my own opinion, if your idea got accepted by a designated organization like business incubators, angel investors, venture capital funds, you will apply for a work permit. You can come to Canada while your application being processed by the Canadian government. And I'm going to leave in a description box down below the link for the official website and other useful resources. Guys, if you need any questions, just leave it in the comment section or you can send us an email. We would love to help. Have a great one.